have you... It's the only manner of speaking Michael Leibin has ever known. I've stuttered um, f uh, for as long as I can remember. Words uh, have always come in fits and starts. Uh, uh, since I began speaking, uh, during my middle school uh, graduation, it was my job uh, uh, to lead the Pledge of Allegiance, and it, it uh, uh, took me a while to get started. And it was, it, was, it was probably the lengthiest Pledge of Allegiance in the history of America. People have looked for a cause of stuttering for 5,000 years. Many, many things have been suggested. For the first time today, we know one of the causes of this disorder. Researchers have long suspected that genetics plays a role. Case in point, Leibn's mother also stutters. Just knowing that it's a disorder is genetic doesn't really help us understand that disorder at the level that, for instance, doctors would like to know. But a new study is changing all that. Researchers discovered genetic mutations, damaged genes in the brain cells of people who stutter. The key? Those damaged cells are located in the speech center of the brain. For researchers, it's a previously closed gateway now opened. It's just great news for, for people who stutter to know that it's a gene. It's not, you know, anything else. It's a gene. Leibin refused to let his stammer stop him. In defiance of his difficulty with speaking, he went to law school. What defines me it, it, uh, is the perseverance in the face of the stuttering. If there was a switch that I could uh, 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 use to turn the stuttering on and off, I'd, I'd probably turn it off, I think. As for a cure, well, that may be a ways off. But researchers believe they are much closer to diagnosing and treating people like Leibin. It's a very exciting possibility to me. Dr. Sanjay Gupta, CNN, reporting. Exciting.